Hi guys, I'm Corbin Rhodes and this is Plant Basics and today we are going to talk about um, pothos. Today we're actually shooting in my dancers area where my African grey is. Hmm. Hi. Do you want to join in? I love this plant because it's an excellent plant for like a low light uh, condition or placement. Um, they can thrive on the neglect actually as far as I'm concerned. So I think we're going to have to put her back on a stand otherwise I'm not going to have any clothes left by the end of this video. Okay. Okay. Um, Pothos is one of my favorite plants to use as like a filler plant. You know, in like a low light area or somewhere where other plants would not necessarily do as well. They're also quite uh, versatile in the sense that you can have them high up and they can like trail down because they, they make these l long um, stems that kind of hang down. Or you, you can also trail them up, so you can have them around a moss, a pole or something, and take all of these up, and then it would like grow in a nice, almost like cylinder effect. Um, or if you want to have them more bushy, you just like cut off with these um, stems, and you can use it for your like, pro like propagation, and you can make more plants, as we are actually going to do today, because here I have a piece. I put into a jar of porters um, some time ago and they, and they actually grow the roots quite easily. So, some people actually just like, leave them in the jar of porter and they like, grow them on like that. Uh, so you can decide what you want to do, like keep it in the water or plant it up. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. Whichever like, kind you want to go for. Um, so I'm going to plant this up into little parts. So I just found this little small part. Um, if you see, yeah, that should fit in there quite well. So I'm just gonna plant it in here to kind of have a little plant and then I'll plant it on, because uh, I'm also kind of thinking of planting some potters around some of my bigger like palm trees and stuff to kind of give a, like a cascading effect around the um, post of my bigger plants. Another reason why I, I like pothos is because of the empirication on the leaves. I love the marble effect. Um, okay. Alex, what? Alex! <gasps> Hello! We're gonna go back over there. Oh, oh you're the... Hello. You just want head scratches, don't you? Hello. Okay, so I actually also love potters because of the marbling on the leaves with this uh, fabrication. Um, and I personally like prefer them to be up high somewhere and trailing down. That's why I'm actually um, like playing with the idea of having a macrame hanger somewhere over here with like specifically this plant in it where it can like trail down because I think it gives such a nice effect. Um, so this was the cutting that I put in a glass of porter some time ago and it's already made lots of roots as you guys can see over here. So today we're going to plant this up. Um, so I'm going to plant it in this, this is like a little temporary pot and I'm going to plant it in until I can decide if I want to plant it up into a pot of its own or if I want to use it um, underneath some of my bigger um, specimen plants to kind of like give a like cascading effect over the side of the, the pot. So I'm going to use my standard like potting mix that I always use um, that has some small like bark chips mixed into it and we're just going to put a little bit in the bottom and just see what we're looking at when you put this in so yeah I actually think that looks kind of fine so just and they actually grow so quickly so if you 
make a few like cuttings you'll easily have um you know, like a nice um like sort of plants to use in whatever way you, you, you like want to and what you also can do is that you can also put a couple of like cuttings into the same pot and that will like give you a full effect almost instantly um that's actually what i think um has happened with these like plants because if you look in the pot they have like a couple of like cuttings in different spaces where the plant is like growing out of hello are you back yeah, my cutting is potted up, as you guys can see. What's she doing to my ear? Um, she just loves like, like you know, dabbling on my ears and also biting my clothes. Come, come. Cannot bite my t-shirt. Okay. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and also enjoyed the visit from Alex. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.